Vishwanath. And I hope you've had a really nice two weeks here at Katha with Karedi. And today is the last day of season one. We've watched 13 episodes so far. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed them. Can I see some thumbs up, some applause, some heart signs, something that you've liked being here for these past 12, 13 days? Yes. Am I seeing them? Ah. Should we wait for a few folks to join us? Yeah. So we've got so many people who are coming. And it's been, you know, since the government announced the lockdown, I thought that I was going to get a nice big vacation. But you know what it turned out to be? It turned out to be the busiest time of our lives. That we were all working from our homes and we wanted to make this as interesting as possible for all you children so that you don't get bored. And so I have a special thanks to our team members. There's Daya, there's Advaita, there is Shriya, there is Jayesh, there is Saurav, there's Pavitra, there's Asha, and there is Arun who manages all these tech things. And we have also a very, very special thanks to all our authors and illustrators and storytellers and musicians who have joined us here to keep you children entertained and uh, joyful. So given that today is the last day of our season one, and just as we were thinking, oh my God, tomorrow I have to go back to office. What do we get? Another two weeks of lockdown. So what do we have to do? We have no choice but to give you a season two. Yes. But we need one day after tomorrow, which is on the 16th of April, we will start a new season with very, very interesting people again, musicians and authors and illustrators and storytellers and animated videos. And oh my God, it's going to be so exciting. So please stay tuned for that time. Yes, don't go running away. And we would be happy to come back to you. But what we have for you today, I don't know how many of you here got all the 13 sessions at Karadi. If you did, please give me a thumbs up up again or a, or a smiley face or something. And if you did not, what we've done is we put together a little montage, like a collage of all the things that happened in the last 13 days, just so that you get brief glimpses into all that has happened. And in case you missed anything and you want to see it, it's there on our uh, Facebook page as well as Katha with Karadi. In in case you have seen it already, but you've loved it so much and you want to catch it again, you can go back and visit it. And in case you want to buy the book and keep it all for yourself and be your own storyteller, you can visit the Curry Details site and buy your books. Yeah. But before I leave you to show you the montage, I wanted to tell you we had so many, many entries for the drawing which. Chetan did of Karadi from all you children. We had such interesting and wonderful laughing Karadis, thoughtful Karadis, funny Karadis, crying Karadis, fat Karadis, thin Karadis. So keep them coming. We are very, very happy to receive them. It fills our heart with joy and we are happy that you're doing it. The other thing that we would like you to send us also, you remember the other contest? What was the other one? Anybody care to remind me? It was the song. We wanted you to sing the mango song. You know, everybody in this Karedi family are such fantastic musicians. Except me. So I can't sing this song for you. And I've always wished that I could sing. So what do I do? I become the best listener ever. So send me all your songs, send us the song of mangoes or monkeys, and then we will see how to upload them onto our Facebook page so that we all can listen together. 
The third thing I want to tell you is that in case you have any comments, you have any questions, you have any ideas for fabulous stories after listening to us, all our authors, you must send them in because who knows, you might be our next Karedi author. We are just so, so happy to get you. Are, guess what I forgot? You know why I'm dressed in this lovely sari today? Because it's my new year. It's the Tamil New Year. So for all the Tamil people across the world and over here, Puttand Vartakal. And for all the people who are from Kerala, a happy Vishu. And from all the people from Punjab, I believe it's their Baisakhi today. So happy Baisakhi. And I discovered that so many states in India celebrate the 14th of April as the new year. So happy new year to all of you. And let's make this the best year that we've ever, ever had. Yes. So on to the montage now. And I'll be back at the end of the video to say goodbye to all of you. So please listen carefully and look carefully. And anything you like, go back to it again. So can we have the montage video, please? Thank you. It is a full moon night. The jackals are howling again. It is the second time that I have been disturbed from my hibernating sleep. I am Karadi, the bear. I do not like being aroused from my six-month sleep. Hello everybody. Namaste. Salam alaikum. Satri akal. Good evening to you in India. It is good morning for me. I am streaming to you from New York City. Um, my name is Kaushik. Kaushik Vishwanath. And today I am going to tell you a story about monkeys. Do you know much about monkeys? The bullocks happily trotted down the road. Trot, trot, trot. The road had potholes. Bump, dunk. The cart wobbled and rattled. Stop, stop, shouted Farmer Falgur. He turned and inspected his vegetables. The tomatoes were fine. The coriander looked comfortable. But what was that? Oh, no, he cried. And if you're all at home, you should all say, Ay, 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 yo! The white eggs were cracked. As uh, Vish told you, it's called The Lion's Feast. And it's written by Lavanya Karthik. And the beautiful illustrations are by Chetan Sharma. Hmm. So are you ready? Say a big yes to yourself. Because I'm going to say yes. Okay, I'm getting a few yeses. Great. So Muttu Mama and his wife Muttu Mami. As our uh, Karadi Mama told us, and Mama means uncle, so obviously Mami is auntie. So Muttu Mama and his wife Muttu Mami lived in a small house at the edge of a forest. On the other side of the forest was a town with a bustling market. Every Friday, they walked to town to buy groceries. On one such day, when they were returning from the market, <laughs> Ooh, a lion suddenly jumped out from behind the tree. I haven't eaten in a week, he roared. 
let me make a let me become the lion i haven't eaten in a week i'm going to eat you he bellowed muttu mama and muttu mami trembled with fear but muttu mami was quick to think of a plan oh, 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 what is the pity she stammered we were going to offer you hot dosas with spicy sambar and the tastiest juiciest chutney but you we would rather eat two old skinny people <laughs> hmm thought the lion hot dosas eh spicy sambar and the juiciest chutney too hmm yum 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 can you all tell me how many different kinds of mangoes are there because mango is the national fruit of our country and the mango tree is the national tree of bangladesh and mango is also the national fruit of philippines wow so in all these countries you have one thing common that is mangoes and monkeys so you want to know the different kinds of mangoes we can play the mango rhyme like aap stota puri langda bagna palli badami vadumanga avakamanga all of them are going to come can we have the video please of mangoes Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Uh -uh. Mangoes, red mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Golden yellow round mangoes, juicy, plump, and sweet mangoes. Golden yellow round mangoes, juicy, plump, and sweet mangoes. Green and sour raw mangoes. Hot and short, thin and long mangoes to eat all day long. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. My name is Madhavi. I'm from Alappi. My name is Madhavi. I'm from Alappi. I speak Malayalam, but I'm just like you. My name is Nattuvar. I'm from Srinagar. My name is Nattuvar. I'm from Srinagar. I speak Kashmiri, but I'm just like you. My name is Shubhrata. I'm from Kolkata. My name is Shubhrata. I'm from Kolkata. I speak Bengali, but I'm just like you. My name is Vasundhara. I'm from Vadodara. My name is Vasundhara. I'm from Vadodara. I speak Gujarati, but I'm just like you. My name is Shamshir. I'm from Ajmer. Papa, what up? Gong. Drinks the gong at the gong pub. Selling perks up and sets off home. The seller is ready to go home. But you know why he's ready to go home? He can't wait to taste his grandmother's noodle soup cook pub. So here you can look at the illustration. Sadik is up. He is woken up to the soft gurgling sound of river leder. River leder is a river in Kashmir. Okay, he's already up. He's offered his namaz, and now he's sipping his noon cha. But what exactly is noon cha? Vedan, do you know what noon cha is? What is noon cha? Noon cha is a salty tea that people drink in Kashmir. That's right. Noon cha is the salty tea that people have in Kashmir. But some people are saying, "What is a monkey's favorite food?" Ba. Na banana, <laughs> bananas. Yes, monkeys love bananas. So the monkey's favorite food was bananas. The thought of bananas drove the monkeys bananas. 
this song. Are you ready to sing along? Sasa, the sasa, the sasa, the sasa. Mangoes, ripe mangoes, red mangoes, sweet mangoes. Gagari sada sari, gagari sada sari, gagari sada sari. Golden yellow round mangoes, juicy plump and sweet mangoes, green and sour raw mangoes. Sa 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 sa. Fat and short, thin and long, mangoes to eat all day long. Pish. So here goes, Dada's useless present, written by Nalini Sorensen. Oops, I'm fumbling on my own name. Illustrated by Alan Shaw and published by Curity Tales. It was Dada's 82nd birthday and Papa threw a big party for him. Ashu, Kuddi, Tinku and I were excited about Dada's presents. Open them now, urged Ashu. Dada got a spectacle case, two folders, a pouch for his pills, a diary and a shirt. Boring, said Tinku. No, these are all very useful, replied Dada. He was really happy until he unwrapped Papa's present. So I'm just going to move the book this way so you can see Alan's beautiful illustration. Every Friday, Maya and Patti visited the temple. Maya always carried a banana for Sangu. Sangu was the temple elephant. Sangu, you are getting so fat. Maya said one Friday, She's going to have a baby, Maya, said Patti very wisely. Ooh, gasped Maya in wonder. Spring had arrived. The farm was busy and noisy. Mm, mm. Farmer Falgu wanted to leave the noise behind and go on a trip. But he knew that he must stay at home. Yes. So can you sing the book? Bindas bandhan, shararate, hamakate, hamari adate. Ye khatti miti ul jane hai aur aafate na koi hum. Okay, so I will look at my own face in the mirror and I'll maybe draw a pose and I'll say, oh, thoughtful. Hmm like that yeah and uh, once i have that then what i will do is that i'll start to rough out i'll put another paper on top of it and i'll start drawing how karadi does it okay and you will find that if you are a cartoon yourself it becomes quite a bit easier 
to draw cartoons. Ah, there you go. And there you go. We'll choose what lines we want to keep. A lot of the art of drawing is to choose what you want to keep. And sometimes you may say, no, I think I want his mount to be a little lower than this. And I want him to go mm, like that. Okay, so if you want that to happen, then you push his face down, and push this down, and you bring his fingers down as well. And, and then you go like that. And so, oh, you say, oh. And he's wondering what Mira is up to. It's like, what has she been doing? She's up to some garbar, I'm very sure. So uh, we have him pensive and thinking. Okay. And there he is. Okay. So I'm just showing you this as a demo of how I generally work. I'll take you through a proper demo now how to draw him once we are done with this. Okay. So this is just a rough idea of what we do when we are drawing currently. Okay. Okay. And we'll fix his proportions and everything. Okay. And decide where we want the shadows. And okay. So once we are sort of happy with this, we will start to fill in courage. I'll be showing you how to do this a little slowly. Um, when we are doing drawings, we do a lot many drawings of Karate. Okay, so if, if I have to draw a new book, for example, or many new poses of Karate, I will make for myself something that we call a model sheet in animation. And that will be basically a lot of different expressions of Karate doing all kinds of things. So can you see how he's looking here and you can see how he's talking, how he's laughing. <laughs> Oh, he's going, or he's looking, mm, Mira. or he's like scared of something, or he's like got something up his sleeve here, you know. So you play around with the character till you understand how that character works. Okay. But at the wedding, there was a surprise waiting for Ruparam. At the wedding, all the men, the male guests, were welcomed with a brand new sofa and so Ruparam got one of his own too. Imagine his delight! Chips and chocolate we like to eat Dosa and dhokla are a treat. Chips and chocolate we like to eat. Dosa and dhokla are a treat. But the food that we like the most is bananas, 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 bananas. When that was done, they just had to eat another. Uh, and another? And another when hide whispered Muttu Mama as he climbed into a big rice pot. Muttu Mami stuffed herself into the little cupboard just in time. So they were both hiding. The house smelt heavenly. Oh, the aroma of the hot dosas with spicy sambar and the chase tastiest, juiciest chutney. <laughs> Grumbled the lion's empty stomach. He's Chai, chai, happy coffee. Chai, chai, coffee, 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 coffee. Ch
Chai, chai, coffee, coffee. Somebody give me some chai, Baba. Oh, oops. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that first season? It was so much fun. It was so much fun for the authors, the illustrators, the musicians. And it was the best of all. So good to see all of you gathered here at 5.30 every evening. And you know, one interesting thing that I want to share with you, we traveled to so many cities with our stories. We had from Chennai, we had Prabharam in Chennai, we have me in Chennai, we have two brothers of the three brothers in a violin in Chennai and the violin as well. And we had Chitra Sounder in London. We had so many people from Bombay or Mumbai. There was Narayan. There was Nandita, there was Natasha, there was Nasir, there was Nalini. Hey, what's with the ends, yaar? And then there was Chetan. That's a C. And then there was Usha Uttup, of course, from Kolkata. There was Mamta Neni, who read Sadi Kwan's to Stitch from Delhi. There was Srividya, who did the story of the clever tailor from Singapore. And there was Kaushik all the way in New York City. In the second season, we will see where to go with our stories, which cities we travel, and what kind of flavors of stories we bring you. Day after tomorrow, which is the 16th of April at 5.30 p.m., we have Malabika, who is a fantabulous illustrator and the funniest storyteller that I ever know, who is going to tell us a story and also teach you all how to draw a mouse. So don't forget to come to the session with papers and pencils, yes? And I think that's a wrap up for the season. We thank all of you very, very much, all of us here at Curry Details, and you have a great, fantabulous new year. And stay safe and stay at home for another two weeks, yes? And we'll bring you lots and lots of stories. Bye. Mm -hmm.